some of the things here are very opinionated, so maybe you will not agree with them. Uh, I would like to hear your opinions as well, so if you have any questions or want to comment on something, you can do it in the middle. I hope I will see you. Um, the presentation itself was also, uh, the kids also helped with it, so I will, I need to thank them as well. Um, let's see. So, my name is Edward, uh, usually the people call me Eddie. I'm, I started program coding when I was, uh, I don't know, 14 or something like that. It was like a hobby. Later on, I did all kinds of other things and uh, reached programming, professional programming a bit later. Um, so I always had this, like, um, I managed to take the hobby and make it uh, the professional thing. Um, so our test subjects are my two kids. I have uh, tr three of them, so I'm married plus three. All of them are boys. Um, the the older one is 12, and the middle one is uh, nine and a half. The little key, the little one is is four years old. They, I didn't start it with him yet. It will take some time. Uh, we also have uh, a dog. He, uh, the dog is can can you can use the dog for this as well, but it's hard to teach them. Um, so I wanted to first start by explaining or sharing where this thing came from. Like why did I I reach this uh, step of teaching teaching the kids coding? So it actually started in with the COVID. Like the kids, I don't know what happened with you, your kids, but uh, my kids stayed at home. They didn't learn anything. The school was closed. They could not get out. I didn't have the, a dog yet then, so there was no reason to get out. Um, and and then they started at some point. The the government managed to to do some remote teaching using the, the schools. It started very badly, I guess. And I was also working from home, so I was with them in the class and I heard what's going on. So they started little by little being like married with the computer. They were actually inside the computer like most of the day. And I thought it's like, doesn't make sense. At least they will need to do something with it. They need, we need to teach them something useful. Um, so it started from there. It didn't start that I want them to continue and continue my way to be professional programmers or anything like that. Um, so I I thought that it's better to start with the end, like what they are saying after they. So I'm teaching them. I think they are in this path for a, a long time, like a few years. But uh, actually teaching them, it's uh, it's around a year, I think, something like that. And it, it didn't start it uh, perfectly, like I was, I started planning for it. It took a longer time on when I implemented it. But uh, so what their kids are saying. So I, I interviewed them before this talk, like a week ago. Um, so they started with, I will, I will learn uh, to create my own game. That's like they are playing now all kind of games like Minecraft and, and uh, they, they, they like the idea of doing it themselves and they c you can program the the game to with additions and stuff like that it's not only the only game but i don't remember of the games here um, one of them told me that uh, the fact that i'm giving them homework for the as part uh, so i'm teaching them something and then they're giving it homework so they will practice so they said that they are when they succeed most of the most of the time they do succeed. Uh, when they succeed, they feel like confident and there is a uh, satisfaction, and so it's really nice. Um, so this one is probably related to the fact that we started working from home. So I was starting working uh, at home, and they saw me coding all day. I didn't understand what are these words there, so they found it interesting to do the same. That's one of the things that I got, uh, which makes me very <laughs> proud. <laughs> uh, 
my wife is uh, working in, in QA and she is like a manager so so she's mostly talking she, she they don't see their coding stuff but uh <laughs> um and this is uh they were in they started to be interested in it and uh wanted to learn a bit more i i didn't invent any of this <laughs> so i start uh the start of all of all of this um journey started with a, s a plan i'm an engineer so i'm supposed to plan right uh so the plan was to to learn english because programming is you need english and uh english in school is not that great it takes like four years maybe i learned english by just by the computer so i had i had a computer it didn't have any other language so i this is how i learned so i i plan to teach not me <laughs> i'm not good at english so plan to teach them english first then i w we can go on the only thing that is not here is that uh the fact that i started the logic part i started with other applications like uh, there are all kind of uh, other application that you can can give the keys and they can just play it has a lot of logic it's less programming it's more logic uh, if you want uh, examples i can share with you later it's for example you have uh, code combat if someone knows which is more programming and uh, there is uh, code spark uh, there are many of them you can choose whatever you want um so the english part i i managed to find uh, so i i had many options one of them was a uh, a teacher one on one teacher right to but that's like they usually some of them are teaching like the like in the school which is not that good they cannot start uh talking or reading quickly it will take take the same time so i found like an online teaching which takes like tw every 25 minutes they take the length of the lecture is 25 minutes and they talk with one one on one with someone so they are they are now like three times a week this is what they do and i started a month ago with the little one as well which works really nice as well so if if you are interested to teach your kids english in a quick way and defer it to someone else that's a good way to do it um later on i i i tried to in explain them how the computer works more or less so i started by taking my old computer i dismantled it and i showed the pieces and started to explain what is uh, what is the cpu and what is memory that you have a hard disk and uh, the ram and uh, you have input and you have output all of this basic stuff so they will have some understanding uh because programming is and coding is giving uh, instruction to the computer so you want them to understand with who they are talking with so so that's that's that part um then we had scratch scratch is a it's a visual way to code is so, does someone do you know scratch here yeah, everyone wants so it's it's very visual to do it uh you could do it in your own language as well so i used english because i want them to be stuck with the english part for the python part but uh but you could do it with any language there are schools that teach that you can teach they teach that at school as well um so and that was really useful because you c uh, if you you can even buy some books or uh, you can see on online which kind of games you can start uh, working on and it's really nice so after scratch i think after two or three months of scratch uh, we went to python and and that's like a new language they need to know english so it's uh, they work more with the computer not with the less with the the mouse more with the keyboard so that part we will talk about it a little bit more um many 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 ask me in the past why python for for the first language to teach them so i in my opinion like i started with c then c++ and then i moved to i started working at red hat so then i my first language there was python now i'm in go so i th i always thought that python is like a very clean and very expressive language it you don't need to write a lot and most of the thing that you write it's pretty clear you don't need to do write 
a lot of writing to make it work so, and it's very easy to get into it um, so what did i what what pro what did I have to do to make this work what to arrange what did I have to arrange uh first, I had to arrange time, which is very hard uh so I had to decide what we sh what should i what is the length of the lecture when should I do it should I put it in the in the scheduler or should I do it three times a week one time a week one once at, at a month so what happened in general all of this part that I will show you here it's like every time I decided something I checked if it works or not and then I just change it again it's like uh, agile um, and then I had to this uh, the, the the next question was who should participate should I do it with each of them in independently or should I do it uh, together in the end I decided to do it together it's most like 90%, 95% it works. Sometimes it doesn't work because we cannot find the time, but uh, but that was the decision. It works pretty nice. And then there was the how to do it. So at the beginning I had a board and I, I showed them some stuff on the board. Uh, but later on, I was not always at home. Sometimes I went to the office and I also found out that if they are in the same place, two kids, brothers it's not it's not that healthy it's like <laughs> it's like after 10 minutes they are, can kill each other so so it i found out that one of them can be in, in different room for the, they need to be in different rooms connected to it uh, to the, to a zoom or a, a, a meetup and um, and it works best so they also can express this and like they can change the font there the not the font the, they have some icons and uh, and do smileys and whatever they can express themselves nicely it re reduces the tension they like if they are bored they can do all kind of stuff it's annoying but it's useful <laughs> um any questions until now Great. Yes. Ah. Okay. So the question was, uh, how, what, what, do, how did I decided what to teach them, right? So I, my idea was that I need to teach. I have a, I have, a to, I have a slide about it, but the idea was that I want to do something uh, incremental. So. I need to have something like a game, for example, but that includes only the p only s small parts that I want them to learn. So I didn't want to for them to learn two months and then to implement it. That's not it will not work. It didn't work. Uh, so yes, it was like I want to, for example, to teach them in Scratch uh, events or uh, loops. So I I did uh, took a game and and split it in a way that they can have small tasks. And th that is how it worked. Um, okay. Yes. Of a re ah, when they start, I think when they start in English, it was like. Uh, so they started the English, and then uh, programming. I just gave them the one of the logic play things to play. I think it was three years ago. It's when when like half a year after the corona no, like something like that it started english immediately almost and then we started the other stuff but you could start the there are games that fits also four years old they, they just play on the it works okay uh so what this is about what makes uh the kids what's good about it what they do so i try to collect the things that i think they are, it's it's good so first of all they learn new skills that's like the obvious thing uh, they have like a dedicated time with me or if it's it's mom it's it's like we don't we are like in a hurry all the time we will go to work it's like maybe in the weekend we are with them but uh, in, in the middle of the week it's very rare this is like uh, you can have uh, one hour just with them, it, which is sometimes it's more even. So it's really nice. Um, it's 
they they can express themselves cre- they, so they can create stuff like they can cre- draw the image if they work with scratch in python they can just invent new things uh, it's very creative uh, this is what i like about it when i was 14 it's like you can do what you can tell the computer to do something and it just creates it immediately that uh, gives a lot of satisfaction and and create uh, increases creativity um confidence so i think when someone has new skills and can do uh, can do new things they it's, it's they they feel more conf- comfortable or confident with themselves they they are much more uh they will engage in other things not even games and they give the opinion and they will just do and you will feel it. you feel it it's like it's happening uh and col- to collaborate it's they started because they are together so they started to collaborate with each other so i i'm if they ask a question sometime I, i'm telling them to go to the uh, to the other brother and ask him and things like that so they start to learn how to collaborate and it's 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 hard at the beginning but then it's getting much better and the communication that's related also co- to collaboration they they may they need to express themselves so sometimes i'm asking them in the c- in the class can you explain me what a function does uh when it is called or something like that so w- or what this code is doing so they ca- the the beginning is very hard for them to express in the, in words uh, and then with with practice they they get better it at it uh the teacher so that's i only took uh, three of them but uh there are much more so again it's the fa- the time with the family it happens so you are there with them it's a good reason to be with them and uh it's really good uh personally i learned a lot of about teaching i learned how to calm down when i very <laughs> that i you need to count to 10 um it helps a lot with all kind of techniques sometimes you go in other places and uh, read what makes the kids uh, interesting uh you try to all kind of psychology games to to make it uh, uh engaging so it's it teach me a lot and it's fun i i, I mean i like it, it it's like it's a, it's very smooth i, I don't sometimes it's hard but uh, many times you have fun with it um but there are challenges and that's like uh, most of the things that i learned from it and this is what i can give you is that there are some challenges some of them i solve um one of them but maybe tomorrow i'll change i i will have to change it because it does it will not work so it depends on t- on age depends on how are your kids how are you so let's see what i'm uh, what we have first of all i just wanted to ask if can you did you does anyone here teach their kids did you anyone yo so what are what are the challenges that you yeah give me the first na- what No, a- any challenge that you have when you teach them, you had like one of the challenges and stay what? Stay calm, yes. <laughs> that's that's hard, yes. Getting attention. Yes. <laughs> attention more? Ah, yes, they get bored. Yes. Yes, frustration. That's they can uh, yes. So what I found out is like I try to put based on what my problems were so and their problems. So first of all was time. It was very hard to set time. So even if I set the time in the calendar, like fixed, I started with that. Fixed time in the calendar, two times a week let's uh, say. Uh, it started well like the first month was good and then everyone had some uh, exception uh, this one went to to his friend i was uh, ha- uh, overloaded at work there was like it didn't happen for uh, two weeks at least like and that was really pro- a problem you need to have your time and took other kids time sync that's hard 
So what I what I realize is that the the time does not exist. You cannot find it. It's like the only thing that I so what I'm doing now. Maybe I will change it again. But what I'm doing now is that every every day I'm checking the calendar if I have time, and I'm just putting in there like and like I'm looking at the time. I'm asking if they are going out, not going out, and I'm just doing it. It's like uh, opportunistic. That's it. Um, Maybe I will try to get back to the calendar. I doubt that it will work. Um, and another problem that I found is understanding that that's like uh, we are. We need to be calm. For example, you teach them what is a function, and and they understand and they explain it to you. And then after a, w a, m a week, they don't know what you are talking about. It's like uh, <laughs> like so, it's really hard. So it's in their brain. I understood what I understood is that their brain are not working like uh, like ours. They are like they have a, ma a mess there, and there is they are looking at this uh, Instagram thing that they move like that. It's overloading everything that they learn. So you need just so the, the only solution that they have is uh, no TDD. It's BRT. It's uh, you just retry. It's a retry driven teaching. You just retry the same thing over and over and over until it's like hard coded in their brain. That's it. That I don't I don't have any other option. But this one actually works because it's also making uh, made me calm. Like I understand that they don't they will forget it, so I just repeat it and that's it. It's simple. Don't expect too much and repeat it. <laughs> so it was for example in the, this is the, there is an example here with the function. The fun you explain how to define a function and then how to call the function and then how to use how to how to practice it, right? Uh, it happened like to me that they didn't. I mean, I explained it once. Uh, they practiced explaining it twice. They did the homework even. Ex and then we came to another class. They forgot everything, so they couldn't explain it to me. So I, I repeated it again and again. And this is at the beginning. I was really frustrated. Like, what? <laughs> what did you do until now? I spent like. Uh, Two months explaining you this. Now you are do, you don't know what to do, what I told you t two months ago. So that's the only solution that I found. Uh, frustration. It's a real thing. It's like they are they can get frustrated if they don't succeed something because this is like uh, um, they expect they they it's like their father are telling them something and they don't manage to do it. It's really it can be very stressful. It's harder than if a teacher tells them that they don't know or if a stranger does it. So that's where the disadvantage of being a, a parent teaching your kids. Uh, the only way to, to overcome is to not to give up. Uh, there are some uh, small tips. One, one is to try different way to explain something. For example, if you want to explain how a function works, then then try to do it in different ways. Why do you need a function? For example, I I use the recipe example, like you have the to make a, uh, to make some pasta. Or you, you have like uh, the first page, the main. It has the sauce. Then you have to do the pasta manually, and then how to I don't know uh, cream it. So how to put it in the oven and everything. So that's like the three functions, and then each fu each implementation has another page. That's uh, how I try to explain it. Maybe it will be not be enough. I'll have to find some other ways. Um, I I I try to help them as much as possible, or ask their uh, brother to help to help. Uh, I told them to drink a lot of water from time to time, to walk the, to go out with the dog, and so on. They they do sports by the way, so it helps a lot. Like if they are. If they are frustrated, then in the later two hours later they go to do some martial arts thing. Then they are coming back calm. <laughs> and don't forget, this is what uh, my wife is also always reminding me: don't start the the class if they didn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the next one is no patience. This is like the new the new generation is like they not they want it now. If it's not ready already, like they think about it, they want to have it already done. It's like that probably AI will help them, uh, but for now it's like they they are really 
trying to to implement something that is not reachable at all so you need to you need to explain them that you cannot do everything immediately uh, so the only way that I found that can help is just to to do the small steps so don't try to to go and create a sophisticated game just do give the give them small steps to understand things like if you implement a, a calculator then you can you can write a few functions and they will understand and use the functions but if you try to tell them to move the to move a, a character over the screen and use the use events or of kind of stuff like that complicated stuff they will use you so you should start small after they are really good at that and they see the results that's important as well they need to see the results then you can continue on with the next challenge and they when they ma when it succeeds they feel the accomplishment so it's it helps and there are because they are brothers so there are tension between them so if in that school you have uh, i don't know how how many uh, kids you have in school but uh, if I if you have 35 or 40 kids in school it's hard for the teacher but if you have two brothers in the house it's really i think it's harder so you need to find they they have tension like it it can and it can breach actually he, the older one is 12 so it's like the hormone started already it can be like you don't understand where it come from and you just need to somehow absorb it so the only this is this is also how the only way to to solve it i found it is just to try to balance them for example don't don't teach one of them and and forget about the other if someone is having difficulties and uh, like help help him more than the other so you need to find a way that both of them are happy and you may need to invest different efforts to with each one of them and you should do things that they do together for example i didn't reach that part that you can team uh, pair programming that's not there <laughs> but uh, but you should do things that they can they can they understand that they cannot make it happen without the other the other one um i think that's it i i could have show i can show you the uh scratch but i think if you want i can show you uh the scratch one uh, and also python but is anyone not uh does anyone need it like <laughs> uh, yes yes yeah yeah so the first thing that i did with python i just opened the terminal and show them uh, how to do hello world like a print and then i explain them variables so i put uh, s equals hello world or i i did uh, i equals five thing like that and and i try to explain that uh, what is a variable like a box in a memory and you put in the box a number or you put in a box a string or you put in a box uh, um, a, a true or false i try to explain what is a true or false so i explain them the variables and then i used variables to print things and uh, that was like in the terminal and then when you want to use functions then you need uh, the id so uh, i went with pycharm the community version and then i explained them how to do th the same thing there that uh, we did in the terminal and that it is saved for the next i mean when they because they always lost everything after they they use the terminal and i explained them that it is saved in a file and and after that uh, explaining functions i explained them uh the that they can each time that we are doing a class and we t learn something new we just open a new file and and the new file has the new uh, function and then you can see the other one uh, that's that's kind of that way anyone else yes that's opportunity so it's like that's the opportunity part ah sorry uh, the question was um how how long is the lesson right the length of so i ideally i think based on the what they are uh, 
They are, when they are learning English, it's 25 minutes, and it's perfect. Like in, in with 50 minutes, they will, they are tired. So with 25 minutes is probably the best thing that they will get into their brain. But I always get to the one hour, but that's my fault. If you can do it in uh, 30 minutes, it's my, I think it's it's the ideal. Because after after that, they are very tired or out of sync. They, but it depends on the kids. If you see it's hard, then just lower it. Yes. Uh, uh, can you repeat? Sorry. Comp uh, other lessons from. Um, so <laughs> ah, grades like grades. No. So ah, can. <laughs> So the question was, the, um, do I give them uh, rewards, right, or uh, or or punishments? I don't know. That's <laughs> like <laughs> like uh, like if if they are not uh, if they are not doing it well, I give them a, a hot sausage or something like that. <laughs> um, no, um, no, because it's like uh, I think it's I think it's opinionated, really opinionated, like like. There are people that says if the if the kid is taking the dog out, right? Should you pay him, or is if he's uh, cleaning up the house or helping with clean out, should you pay like uh, uh, money that he did it? So some things that they, you should, and uh, some think that uh, it's like this is what they are supposed to do. If they don't want to do it, I mean it's if they need to clean it, they need to clean it. But uh, and it, they need to take the dog out. They need to. It's like part of their being in the family. So I didn't do that, but uh, but I guess it's like <laughs> no. So the question, <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yes, the question w uh, was: Are there interest? Like, they, do they want to have the class, right? So yes, in in, but maybe d uh, each one is has a different reason. Like, there is one. This is where the brothers can help, like because they compete. So enough that one of them wants, the other one cannot say no because he competes with him. So it's like everyone wants from a different reason, but sometimes they both of them want. So it's fine. Yes. Oh, so like the question was, what do I do to teach them Kubert? Kubert is the project I work on. On it's an open source project at work. Um, so I had a plan, but it's not legal, I think. So I cannot. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I will not tell you. <laughs> Anyone else? We have two minutes. Yes. yes. Yes, I heard about. So uh, we are out of time, but uh, uh, thank you for the yes using other uh, other 
outside external uh, helpers, it's it's nice. I found it didn't work for them because they lose interest. But yeah. But yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>